Hey guys, it's Spooky Noodles, and I am here with the book review. Um, I don't own the book. I unfortunately uh, was trying to get it, but I I failed to get it, so it doesn't matter anyways. I listened to the audiobook, so, uh, and I don't intend to read it again. I know that sounds bad, but uh, we'll get into it. Um, this book was about this a uh, few people actually um palatasm gale uh i can't remember everyone's names uh uh the comedian uh his uh black girlfriend i can't remember her name either started with an s um, and a few other people like the Roach, um, then there was the main bad guy who was, uh, King of the Vampires, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I can't th really think of all the characters' names, but generally, Robert McCammon has a lot of characters in his books, so... And everyone kind of meets up at the end, kind of like Swan Song. This is like a, you know, like this is a good attempt at, at a, I, I, how am I gonna say this? Um, did I like the book? Let's start there. The book was okay. Um, I unfortunately didn't like it that much but it held my attention for a while. I think the first half of the book is really, really, really good. The second part, it's like he lost, he didn't know where he was going and he, you know, it just kind of went everywhere. So, um, sorry guys. Um, I just, I don't know. Palatasm was for, by far my favorite character. I remember him because, you know, for the most part, he was a good detective and stuff like that. Um, my least favorite character was Gail. She was so freaking annoying. I, 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 she aggravated me. I was really hoping she died. Out of all the characters, I was hoping she died. And she, spoiler alert, doesn't die. So. I want to throw hands with Robert McCammon. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the villain was okay. Um, the Roach character seemed to be pretty believable. Um, but I I don't know. Like I said, the first half of this book was really, really good. And then the second half, like the first half of the book was like a four star read. And then the second half, our first half I meant, was a four star read. And then the second half was a uh, two star read. So, um, I don't want to rate this a low book because for me, a two star book means that I wasn't having a good time like bats was a two star book i think i might have given it three stars though but bats was a two star book by william w johnstone but uh this was a three star book maybe if i could do half c's i would do a two and a half star book um but i'm gonna just go with three stars because i don't do half stars i guess um, it was, it was okay. It kept my attention. Like I said, the first half of the book was pretty good. I was like, where's he going to go with this? And I think he was like, you know, drinking beer. I'm like, ah, well, yeah, me too. Like, I don't think he had any idea where he was going with this. And, uh, I don't know. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but, uh, 
I, I was going into this book with the hopes of one of the best vampire novels there was out there, and I didn't get that feeling that it was the best vampire novel out there. Um, it kind of makes me not want to read a vampire novel for a while, but I did just get a vampire book, and I intend to do a vampire TBR after my coming of age TBR. So, um, that's going to be a thing. I can't, I, I can't think of any problems I had with the book per se, other than Gale was su super annoying. Um, I know there was probably problems. I just can't think of them at the moment, which is probably a good thing. Um, overall, I... Like I said, I enjoyed the ride a little. No, I didn't enjoy the ride. I um, I jumped on the ride and it, it had good, like, I from the outside it looked good, but when I was on the ride, it wasn't. It kind of bored me. So you know, yeah, I feel bad. Robert McCammon is a great author. I mean, Boy's Life was amazing. Swan Song was amazing. Uh, I think that's it. I've that's those are the two books I've listened to: Swan Song and Boy's Life. And then now They Thirst. Um, it's just a bummer because I wanted to like this book. You know, because Robert McCammon, vampires, like two things I think I like. Uh, it didn't, it didn't go together though. And this is kind of the second vampire book I've kind of been disappointed by. Um, I was reading Bite by, uh, Richard Lehman. And, uh, even though that's not really a vampire book, but it is. If you know, if you've read it, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, there's a vampire in it. <laughs> um... Other than that, it's yeah, bite stunk. But uh, this book kind of stunk too. Um, it's probably one of my worst reviews I've ever done for a book. I just I don't know what to say about it. It 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 happened. I don't remember it very well, and I I it's been a few days. I was letting it digest and. I, uh, I feel bad because I'm not giving you guys a good review other than, you know, I, I give the star a book three stars and like I said, it's, um, it's a book about vampires and, uh, it felt like a lot of, I don't know, like, I just don't know it. I feel bad. This is a horrible review. I just, I don't know what to say about the book, honestly. I, I'm just gonna end it here. It, it was a three star book. I'm gonna go take a nap. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, even though I, I doubt you guys did. So, but uh, thank you guys. All right, bye.